Hello again, friends. And my name is Bill. You're watching Bill's Box of Sound, as usual. And uh, I'd like to say hello to everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. This video is going to center in on a review of this little nugget, Zappa 75, and two hard-to-pronounce uh, former U Yugoslavian cities, Zagreb and Ljubljana. That's uh, what's going on here. So what happened is, <clears throat> back in 1975, uh, Frank was on an American tour. He just finished a show in Michigan. And for some reason, there were two shows booked in Yugoslavia. So they ran to Yugoslavia, did two shows, came back to the United States, went back to Michigan, and continued their North American tour. And these two sh shows were recorded on 8-track audio. Um, the tapes survived, but not in the best of conditions. And I'll tell you more about that. Um, this is a two-CD set. There is no vinyl counterpart because if you were to put this on an uh, album, it would be a four record set at the minimum and probably cost over a hundred dollars with all of the printing and uh, whatnot, all the other costs that would be involved in it. And uh, you get a really nice booklet with this as well as some liner notes by Vaultmeister Joe Travers, an interview with uh, Davy uh, Moore, mixing engineer, and you also get pictures, and last but not least, an essay from Terry Bozio, Zappa in U Yugoslavia. So all of that in a nice uh, little expanded booklet. Man, lots of stuff here. There's Frank on the back. And CD goes for like 20 some bucks. Um, and I'll tell you more about my buying experience for this. It's one of the reasons why it took me so long to do this video. Um, but I want to talk about the music because that, that is what's important. All right. So the thing opens up. Oh, wait, the band. Got to tell you about the band. Okay. Kind of a stripped down band on this tour. It was, of course, Frank Zapp on vocals and guitar. Napoleon Murphy Brock on tenor sax and vocals. Norma Bell on alto and soprano sax and vocals. Andre Lewis of Mandre fame on keyboards. Roy Estrada, the original bass player for the Mothers on bass and vocals. And Terry Ted Bozio on drums, fresh from the, the Captain Beefheart tour that was previous to that much earlier in the year. These uh, two shows were recorded in uh, November. 21st and 22nd of 1975. Okay. Um, this band is also represented on the Joe's Menage CD set. Eight tracks on it. And uh, is it the exact same band? I think it is. But that's the CD. This, this re recording was taken off of a cassette recorded at the College of William and Mary in earlier in November 75. So less than a month away, you know, all recorded in the same month. These three, these three CDs, two CD set, one CD. So it opens up with a thing called Benagua, which uh, is a weird little noisy thing with, uh, with, uh, Napoleon and, uh, and Roy making all sorts of noises and uh, just vo vocal pyrotechnics and Andre playing his synthesizer. So they get the band, the whole band introduction and uh, then they do Stinkfoot, a popular opener in the day. Um, 
Frank does a solo, and he goes into the Poodle Lecture, which um, is kind of shortened a bit because I guess that when they went to Yugoslavia, they didn't have all the things that they wanted, such as all, all of the equipment, all of the props that they wanted. For the Poodle Lecture, Frank pulled out a stuffed poodle, and they didn't have one, so they pulled, he pulled out a roll of toilet paper and said, imagine this is a poodle. So that goes into there, and that goes into Dirty Love. Um, interesting band. Like I said, stripped down. Uh, one thing that really shines on this two CD set is the guitar work by Frank. He really gets a stretch out in a lot of different places. The songs are uh, divided between the two shows. Um, they couldn't have all of both shows available because some of the recordings didn't turn out right because of the way that they were patched into the tape recorder and one technical problem or another. Um, the team of Craig Parker Adams and uh, Joe Travers and everybody else really worked hard on getting these tapes to sound as good as possible. And they did a remarkably good job. So while Clashing the two concerts, they kind of like have a hybrid concert in here, and both discs are filled pretty much to the to, to the capacity. From the Poodle Lecture, they go into Dirty Love, and then we switch to the Ljubljana show with uh, the Freak Out medley of How Can I Be Such a Fool, I Ain't Got No Heart, and uh, I'm Not Satisfied. And... The majority of the sax solos on here, it sounds like are being taken by Norma Bell, who is a very lyrical sax player. She uh, played on a lot of uh, Parliament Funkadelic stuff, as a matter of fact. And How Can I Be Such a Fool kind of has a disco beat to it. Then we go into Black Napkins. Now, this is recorded after the Bongo Fury album was recorded and before Zoot Lures was recorded. And um, this is an earlier version of Black Napkins. Um, there's a saxophone, so saxophone, saxophone solo by Norma Bell, um, which is really nice. And then Frank just stretches out using the pick on the neck. There is also an, uh, this version of Black Napkins was taken from the Zagreb concert. The Ljubljana version was originally on this CD. Frank Zappa plays the music of Frank Zappa. So if you want to see, if you don't have this already, you might want to seek this out if you want to have everything available from both of these concerts. So then we go into Advanced Romance, which was on the Bongo Fury tour. Um, it's an interesting version. They switch up some of the vocals on, uh, on there. You know, instead of saying they took like they took uh, George's watch like they always do, they took Andre's watch like they always do. Um, real good solo though in Advanced Romance. Um, they don't have all all the, uh, the all of the um, harmonica accoutrements with with that on there. Then they go into um, Honey, Don't You Want a Man Like Me. Once again, an early version of the song. Vocals switched up a bit. And um, not as developed, but a lot of times these archival recordings, what, some of the great things about them is how you can see some of your songs that are maybe some of your favorite, favorite Zappa songs in their earlier form and what happened to turn them into the versions that, uh, that you love the most. So then we go um, from Ljubljana back to Zagreb, and we have an early version of the Illinois Enema Bandit, where Frank has a different and a little bit longer um, introduction about Michael Kenyon. Then he goes into Carolina Hardcore Extra Ecstasy and Lonely Little Girl. This is a version of the Lonely Little Girl that previously was only available on this Joe's Benage CD. And it's completely different than We're Only In It For The Money or any other version that he that, uh, he released. Even the version that was on Lumpy Money 
what was called the original version. This has a different bridge uh, in between the two uh, verses on it and very likable. So if you like the song Lonely Little Girl and you want to hear more of it, it's on this. As the, then we go uh, to uh, Take Your Clothes Off When You Dance and um, ch -ch 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 -ch. and What's the Ugliest Part of Your Body. Um, take Your Clothes Off When You Dance, kind of like a little um, reggae-ish version uh, with Andre doing a solo on that. And um, What's the Ugliest Part of Your Body is kind of doo-wop-ish. And then we have an abrupt edit that goes into Chunga's Revenge. Now, Chunga's Revenge on the CD is split up between uh, the last track on disc one and the first track on disc two. All together, um, that track is 19 and a half minutes. So it goes from the regular head of Chugga's Revenge, do 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 And um, then you've got what sounds like two different sax solos, but neither of them sounds like uh, Napoleon. They both sound like Norma. Uh, we have a, uh, a synthesizer solo from Andre. Um, and then we have an unbelievable multi-layered stretch out freeform uh, guitar solo from Frank at the end of this chunk of Revenge. Um, now, if you buy the digital version online and download this album, you get the full version of 19 minutes. But here it's split up between the, the end of one disc and the be beginning of another. From there, we go into one of Terry's two drum solos that are on this. This one from Zagreb. And uh, a very explosive solo that Terry has here. The, the solo that's in the bonus section is a lot more uh, starting up very technical and moving around and uh, adventuring around the drum set. But the first uh, uh, get the drum solo, which is called Terry Zagreb's solo, it's about almost six minutes long. Very explosive, leading into Zoot Allures an early version of that, way before it was on the Zootalors album itself. Lots of feedback exploration on that. And then it goes into Filthy Habits, but it's not the version that you know. It's a prototype, kind of an early version of Filthy Habits, which leads Frank to do more soloing, more experimenting, which is a lot of fun. Then to end the show, do Camarillo Brillo with a lot of really fun harmonies on the vocals and Muffin Man to end the show. For the encore, we get uh, kind of like a, a fun version of I'm the Slime. It, uh, it starts the same way that it does in a record with uh, just, you know, Frank doing a solo over some droned chords and then going into the, the song. Um, some fun vocals on that. And then it's a little bit longer of a guitar solo. Starts out standard, kind of like, well, okay, Frank's just playing along. But then he starts really getting into it. And uh, it gets better as it goes along. Then that goes into San Bernardino, which uh, is um, pretty standard. And on the out chorus, the... Uh, the San Bernardino uh, ending chorus, which is sung by uh, Johnny Guitar Watson on the original version from the studio on uh, One Size Fits All. It sounds like that's Andre singing there. And uh, so that winds up the show. And then we get our bonus material, which is three extra cuts. We get a prototype of wind up working in a gas station. Um, so there's, there's no singing on it. And it's a real good excuse for Frank to go into a solo, start experimenting, and he's got some really nice pedal effects that he's using on that. He's got uh, some oscillating filters and, um, and kind of like a tremolo thing going on there. And then we hit get 
our second Terry Bozio drum solo, which is, like I said, a bit more technical, a bit more building up and moving around the drum set a bit. And then we have uh, a bonus version of Zoo Delores, which is even more wonderful Frank soloing. And you know, since this band was not as huge or as technically amazing as other Zappa ensembles, um, for example, you had Roy Estrada on bass. And Roy, um, more of a basic bass player, and he provides a good background for Frank to solo over. You know, give Frank one or two chords, and he can do symphonies with them. Uh, so that's what lays the groundwork for Frank to do all these fantastic solos on here. So that's it, you know, about two and a half hours of some prime stuff. Now, this isn't uh, the, the best Zappa release, but it's a really nice archival recording. And um, if, if, if you are studying Zappa and uh, getting into this stuff, and are, you're especially interested in those guitar improvisations, this is a very good uh, selection to get. <clears throat> now, I ordered mine from Universal Music directly. I pre-ordered it. And I usually never buy the, um, the limited edition versions. For example, with the Halloween boxes, I just wanted the music. I did not want the box with the Halloween mask or the Halloween costume or whatever on it. But they offered for 16 extra dollars a uh, limited edition version which had three photographs, three prints of uh, pictures taken um, by uh, Gail Zappa and John Rudiak. So... I was looking forward to getting those pictures. Hey, maybe suitable for framing. So I got my shipment from Universal Music. Ta-da! Ain't showing my address to you folks. And um, opened it up. Thing was in shrink wrap. I pulled out the shrink wrap. And I get a booklet. Two CDs, jewel box, that's it. No extra photographs. So I emailed Universal Music um, customer support and they said, hmm, gee, well, I'm sorry that this happened to you. Um, could you possibly send us a picture of what you received so we can work on remedying this problem? Yeah, sure. I took a picture of the CD. I took a picture of the envelope. I took a picture of the sticker on the uh, on the the um, shrink wrap to, to to notify that there was a different barcode over this barcode, maybe signifying a different version. I don't know. And um, I keep on checking with them every few days. Last uh, last time I checked, uh, they said that this is a widespread problem, and they are still working on the problem. So basically, I'm out to $16 <laughs> for three pictures I never received. So I'm really upset about that. And Universal Music, you really have to up your customer service. If you say you're going to send me a limited edition package with three extra pictures, send me a limited edition package of three extra pic pictures and not just the CD, okay? Now, that aside, what's coming up next for Zappa? Hmm? In December, middle of December, five-disc box called Waka Wazoo, which will have outtakes and different takes, a live concert, and rehearsals of music that Frank worked on with George Duke, and all centered around these two albums, 
The Grand Wazoo, and Waka Jawaka, the two albums that Frank did uh, the year that he was pretty much uh, confined to a wheelchair, but still worked on music. And this is like big band zappa if you're not familiar with it. So very much looking forward to, to that boxed set, especially because the last disc is a Blu-ray audio with high resolution, uh, w wider um, bit range and sampling uh, sampling frequency of both albums, Grand Wazoo and Waka Jawaka. Not only that, but you will get 5.1 surround and Dolby Atmos surround versions of both albums. Very excited about that because I do listen to surround sound music. Not a lot. I mostly listen to speakers and headphones in my stereo system. But I do dig myself a good uh, surround system. So, uh, here's something else that's interesting. If you want to hear the Grand Wazoo and Waka Jawaka in surround sound in Dolby Atmos, you can do it now before it gets released. If you have... Um, Apple Music, if you subscribe to it, <clears throat> there's two different ways that you can listen to it. Uh, you can... Da -da 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 -da. You can pull out, if you have compatible Apple AirPods phones and either an iPhone that's up to date, 16.1 um, operating system or higher, or if you've got a... Uh, uh, a Mac computer that has the Apple Silicon as your processor on it. These uh, AirPods are capable of de delivering a simulated, what they call spatial audio or surround sound experience with just the stuff in your ears. Personally, I'm not a fan of that stuff. But if you've got an Apple TV device hooked up to your home theater system and you've got Dolby Atmos hooked up, yeah, I do, you can listen to these now. So you got to subscribe to Apple Music and you got to have the Apple TV or with the AirPods, you got to have either an iPhone or an Apple Silicon Mac compatible computer little quick uh, interesting side thing about the uh the apple tv when it's playing mu music from apple music is they include lyrics scrolling on the screen and the lyrics are not always correct check out this still that i shot off of my tv when i was um playing Let's see what 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 uh, song is it? Oh yeah, uh, for Calvin and his next two hitchhikers. Uh, not completely correct, but still, you get to listen to Grand Wazoo and Waka Jawaka in surround sound. Um, n nice, tasteful mixes as well. They didn't go crazy with the panning and stuff like that. And they didn't radically change the mix. It still sounds very much in balance and what you're used to on your normal two channel versions of these two albums. It's just that things are spread out. You can pick out individual instruments a lot clearer. Um, on the solo that Frank does in the grand, in the uh, Waka Jawaka, uh, where it goes off into the transcribed trumpet with the uh, Sal Marquez and then harmonies of trumpets and then an entire horn section doing the guitar solo as Frank's doing it. You can, you can hear individual pieces of that and it's absolutely wonderful. 
Also, speaking of that same track, um, Waka Jawaka, the Sal Marquez trumpet solo um, goes from one speaker to another, to the back, to the other side. It's kind of neat, but they don't go nuts with it. So very tasteful surround sound mixes for Waka Jawaka and the Grand Wazoo. Now back to the end of this video. <clears throat> I'm really glad that they are including the physical copy of the surround sound on that because when Universal released the Beatles Revolver set, um, they did not include the surround sound versions of it. The only way that you can get the surround sound version is online. Bad, bad, bad decision on Universal Music's part. Um, and I've heard several... Uh, dissenting uh, uh, opinions, people who are just as upset as I am about that. That's why I didn't buy the Beatles Revolver release. I bought all the other uh, Beatle remixes, but I have not bought the Revolver yet. And uh, yeah, I've listened to a few of the previews online. I don't think I'm missing that much. But Zappa fans, we've got a lot to look forward to. And as far as sound quality on uh, this uh, Zagreb Ljubljana, uh, set. Um, a lot of work was taken to say, take these tapes, which had v vastly varying different spectrums of sound on them, and turned them into something that could be consumed by us, us rabid fans. It's, it's good sounding. It's not, it's not perfect. It's not immaculate but it's a very good representation of what went down at those Yugoslavian concerts. So that is my review of the Zappa 75 Zagreb Ljubljana release number 123 in the official Zappa canon. And also the first under the new Universal Music umbrella. And uh, for more information on, you know, Zappa music going from the Zappa Trust to Universal. Please watch my uh, Joe Travers uh, it, uh, interview uh, that's on, on the same channel. And if you like what you heard here, please hit the like. Please hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, I've yacked on for way too much. I'm going to cut this video off. Had a great time. Hope you did too. Go listen to some Zappa music. You have your instructions. Bye.